Hello, my dear friend. Welcome back to my channel. This is Junie's Plan with Me. Starting from this month, I'll also be setting up my husband's bullet journal with a really simple style. I guess it could be called minimalist. Before I start, I want to say thank you for all your support, and my channel just reached 5K subscribers. As a special thanks, I'm providing digital PDF of all the spreads from this video to download for free. You'll find out how to get it at the end of this video. Now let's get started. Instead of having the whole spreads as cover page, I decided to write down the title page on the left side and leave the right space for monthly glance, since my husband only wants half spread for monthly event planner. Then for the title, I'm considering to have a series with the first letter of each month's name. So for July, I'm using the capital letter J and then add an 8x8 box behind it. As I mentioned earlier, I want to have this setup really simple, so I decided to go with some leaves on the vine around the letter. Try to draw each leaf differently and give it some variety of direction to make it more interesting. One easy way to build contract is to use positive and negative space. Here I'm blacking out the box so the letter and leaves can pop out more. As I'm coloring it, I also leave some white space for the vines, which I'll refine again with a white gel pen later. Then I step the monthly calendar under it. I find it really useful, especially if you're using the original vertical calendar design by Rita Corral. The regular calendar can help you to locate the day within a week really easily. Now I'm working on the vertical calendar I just mentioned. Write down the date on the left side and the day of week in the black bar to match the month style. Then I draw 8x32 box for note and decorate the left up corner and the right down edge with some simple leaves. As final touch, I'm fixing the cover page with a wet gel pen, and now the cover page plus month view is done. On the next spread, I have habit tracker and sleep lock. Unfortunately, I lost footage of writing down the title, so let's start from the habit chart. Here I'm putting habits on the top and sleep hours below as Y axis and the date as X axis. I've been trying this tab these days and it works better for me compared to the small calendar for each habit. Because when I check out the daily habit, I can easily see the one that I didn't make it for the day, so it reminds me to finish it better. Everyone is different, so this is just my personal experience and I suggest you to try different styles and find the one works the best for you. On the right side, I have some space left, so I'm going to draw some leaves here as decoration. Again, to make the positive and negative style, I draw 8x14 box as background, and then start to draw leaves in. Because the base will be black, I don't have to define the shape of the leaves within the box right now. I just need to do it later with a black brush. But you can choose to do it at the beginning if you want. This time, I also leave the white space for the vines ahead of time so I don't have to worry about later. Then I black out the background with a bigger brush pen. When it comes to the leaf edges, I'm also drawing out the leaf veins. At the end, I use white gel pen to write down July on the top. I also made this drawing into a phone wallpaper which you can find in my Patreon as well as other bonus content. I'll leave the link on the right up corner for you to check out. Let's move on to the next page. My husband is pretty crazy about working out and building muscles, so this page is for him to track body weight and muscle percentage. I'm not going to write down the number here, just 1 to 31 for date. He will fill out the others later. On the right side, I have a note section for him to write down workout schedule, diet idea, meal prep plan, and so on. 
I actually also have a weight tracker myself, but separate from my journal. I put it next to the scale with a pen attached, so I can write down immediately after measuring myself every morning. In the corner, I draw a 4x12 box as base, and the leaf I pick for this page is this really cute oval shaped one. Again, I draw the outline first and then black out the background. This time, I use a thicker liner to outline the plants first, so when I color it, I can spend less attention for the leaf edge, not worrying too much of miscoloring, if that makes sense to you. On the right page, I have it for a brain dump. It is really interesting how people use this page differently. I got comments asking me what I usually use this page for. Well, I use it for video ideas, future Bujo theme options, good quotes I read randomly, and other self-improvement related thoughts. What do you use it for if you also have this page? Let me know in the comments and I'd love to know more possibilities. As for the title, I black out half of it and rewrite with a white gel pen for the covered part, which turns out not bad. Then for the leaves, I'm using a different technique here, which is drawing the outline with a white pen, and leave the inside of the leaves as black. At the end, draw an overall frame for this page. The leaf decoration looks more like a pattern tape, so I decided to patch the edges with a black liner as you can see now. So compared to my regular bullet journal I made for myself, there is no mood tracker, one lamp per day, and Instagram tracker, as my husband requested. Now let's jump into weekly spread directly. Here I'm going to do Dutch doors for each week, but before cutting anything, I'll finish the left page first. I write down July with a big J, and under it, instead of drawing a box, I'm drawing the leaves first. The plant I choose here has long and thin leaves, really elegant and also stick out of the box a lot, so I think it's better to draw them first. After that, I draw a 7 by 13 box behind the plants and color it like previous pages. And also don't forget to highlight the vines at the end. Now it's time to do the Dutch doors. I apply it on all weeks, so there are 4 pages for 5 weeks in total. I personally like to use knife, but you can use scissor if that works better for you. Now we have 4 pages ready, and then I use a corner cutter to make them all rounded. For each day, I draw one block size dot and write the day of the week after it. The first week of July starts with Wednesday, and there are 5 days in this week, so for the first spread, I divide it into 6 sections for 5 days a note. As for the font, I forgot to mention earlier, it is called American Typewriter. You can find it through Google or Word Office if you want to learn or mimic. Now I draw 6 short lines for 6 sections and use the white gel pen to write down the date. Similar layout on the second week, except here I have 7 days and 1 note. Then for the third week, it looks exactly like the same as well as the fourth week. The last page is a little bit different because here we have 5 days. So besides Monday to Friday plus note, I also have the leftover space for monthly summary section. On the right space, I decide to draw a few different types of plants, and I start with 4 different size boxes, as you can see. The first one is called Florophytum. Yup, I just googled it. I think it has the more common name, which is spider plants. But there are different types of spider plants, so the one I'm drawing here is my mom's favorite, and it's really easy to survive. For the rest, I'm not sure about the names and types, but overall, they're not hard to draw. You can also pick your free plants for your journal. I leave the last one for a white pen on black background style, so I'm coloring the top three first. 
The spider plant is too small to leave white space while coloring, so I decided to black it all and redraw the veins after. And then add the details with a thinner liner pen. Then for the second one, I add one more leaf to match the overall style. The third one is pretty much the same as the one on the left I just drew, but with more branches. As for the last one, I'm drawing it in the same style that you've seen from the burn down page. At the end, I put a mouse calendar on the right corner, so while using each week spread, you can also locate the week within the mouse really easily by checking it. And before final flip through, I want to give a special thanks to my new Patreon members, Katrin and Sini. I really appreciate your support and love. In my Patreon community, you can find the PDF of all the spreads from this video to download for free. There are also more bonus content as well as exclusive feed for different tiers. I'll leave the link in the description down below. Okay, here I have my husband's first bullet journal monthly setup. I really like this black and white minimalistic style. It is different from my regular bullet journal which I always wanted to give a try. So with this opportunity, I can share more simple designs with you in the future. I really want to hear what you think about it. Please leave comments below and let me know. I hope this video is helpful or inspiring for you. If you like this video, please click like and subscribe. Also don't forget to turn on the bell. Thank you for watching. I hope you have an amazing July.